All right, we're here with another episode of Diamond Dialogue. Um, we're here with Steve, aka Surge, in the chat room. How you doing today? I'm pretty good. Doing pretty nice good. to be here. Excellent. Well, it's great to have you. So, um, I've always wanted to know what's the origin of your chat handle. It's the best opening question ever. So, <laughs> so, I used to go by a very different and much longer uh handle way back in the day of the bbs realm and uh i got tired of having a very long name it used to be doom wizard of all things doom wizard. Uh, so i picked surge because i wanted it to be a little you know action adventure a little menace somewhere in there all of that stuff for online gaming purposes uh and about two weeks after that uh, some soft drink company decided that would be a great name for their product <laughs> and they had started airing commercials so uh, I decided well I'm just going to stay with it and uh, you know we, we, see, we can see who won clearly everyone associates <laughs> me with that name well, yeah, and not course. soft drink yeah so hopefully your, your internet holds up here just a little bit choppy <laughs> Yeah, but what's your uh, what's your favorite non-tech activity? Ooh, uh, I don't know. It, it's a I guess it's a thing of times gone by, but I really like a road trip. I don't get to do it that often, but pack in the car, go see the sights of some area, uh, anywhere across the United States is a great because uh, you don't have to drive very far to find something interesting. No. Um, but I like that open road, um, road, you know, uh, with the radio on or good music. It's great. I love that. Yeah, definitely fun. I am uh, hopefully planning one this uh, this summer to to get out to California. It'll be a, like a three day road trip each way, so it'll be fun as long as I can get enough time off work. <laughs> that sounds good. So uh, you use Twitter a little bit. Um, what's the uh, just a little bit? Just a little bit. What's your favorite uh, Twitter account, or the you know funniest one, the most insightful, whatever, whatever you can think of? You mean uh, the one that I follow the most close? Uh, yeah, cl most closely. Yeah, your your favorite one you follow. Oh, man, that's tough because uh, I have intentionally not really engaged on Twitter that awful much. Uh, so. Uh, there's a few that I get constant just barrage updates from because that's what happens, like breaking news and just generic sources of information. I follow uh, Blizzard and a, a few others, but usually I use it to collect information rather than uh, a mass sharing. So if you're following me on Twitter, it's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I mean, a lot of times I, I, I don't post all that often, but I really like to read Twitter because I, I just find it more interesting that way. So um, eh, yeah. whatever works for you. All right. So now now into the real interesting questions. If you're, you're given a superpower, what superpower is it? And uh, what's the first thing you do with it? Well, uh, for me, I can't understand why no one has selected this. Because I would choose omniscient to know everything. The truth of any situation is instantly at my fingers. Who shot Kennedy? I know that. <laughs> uh, how much wars are anywhere else? I know that. I know all of that. That's that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, like all just know everything. Right. You can't lie to me because I know the truth and I can know truths that you don't even know. That would be awesome. Right. Yeah, that's that's true. So it's not, not even like mind reading because you don't need to know what their thoughts are. You just you know what the truth nope. is. <laughs> that's right. That's awesome. And, and I can't decide like if I if I gain this knowledge to my like uh, consciousness at the moment the question is formed or at the moment it's relevant because sometimes you don't know what you need to know. Right. Yeah, no, I, I get so, that. That makes sense. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how that part would work, but uh, if I was omniscient, I'm sure I would have it figured out. <laughs> well, right. Of course, you would, you would already know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's too funny. 
So uh, if you could move to a planet, what planet would that be? And, uh, you know, what, what, what kind of house would you have? What, what would that look like? Oh, man. Uh, well, I guess Alderaan is kind of out of the question, right? Yeah. Depends on which, which movie you're going to take it from. <laughs> well, either way, you don't want to invest in property on Alderaan. Yeah, probably, probably not. It's not a good idea. No. And, uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm a pretty big fan of Earth, uh, Earth as it is. Oh, I got it. I would go to Floston, Planet <laughs> Floston in the Angel Constellation. Yes, from, that place uh, is pretty tight. Yeah, from uh, 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 Fifth Element. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, and fun. so my house would have to be like a, a suite on the on the ship that orbits the planet. Right, right. That would be pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> well, very cool. Um, so now, now we're going to get into a little bit of the more personal questions for you. I've uh, dug into your history. I've talked to your kindergarten teachers. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but you, you are into comics, I saw. Um, so a little bit, yeah. What was the, your favorite comic during your uh, teenage years? Mm. It, it it was uh X Men, Marvel's X Men. Uh I really you know, I picked it up and I put it down because at the time I didn't really have a lot of money to blow on comics and keeping them collected was a problem because I've got a younger brother and uh mm -hmm. it So enjoyed it while I had it, but I didn't get to have it very much. Oh yeah. Oh that's awesome. I uh, I didn't really get into comics when I was younger. I enjoy the comic, you know, movies and stuff, but uh, I I haven't really read a lot of books, uh, you know, comic books <laughs> as it is. So uh, I, it's something I've always been, you know, meaning more to do to get deeper into the universes of them. But uh, you know, that's yet another thing on my list of stuff I don't have time for. <laughs> well, if you're going to get into comic books now, and I, I pretty much uh, give this advice to everyone that talks to me about them, is to go digital. Anymore, oh, sure. the paper books. I I don't got time for that. Who has time for that? Who has time? For I don't. Who's got time for that? <laughs> I would. Uh, I have such a better experience with the digital. They're always pristine. Uh, I can take a whole collection with me anywhere I go, and uh, it remembers where you are. Like you don't have to place hold or remember. You know which book in the series you're on. Or, oh, awesome! It's great. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, and and I do have I have a couple of the, the um uh the free ones on on Comicsology that that I've been meaning to read. So um just cuz I wanted to try the platform out. I'm like, "Yeah, is it going to be any good, you know, for for reading reading comic books?" But it sure it seems like it. It seems real nice. And uh of course the yeah. the graphics are like, I mean, obviously you can't 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 get to quite real, but you know they they look pretty good, so well, not only that, but, uh, you know, you can blow up the panel to bigger than you would get in print. And usually they they uh, they serve up great art oh, uh, in the digital format as well. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's just a better experience. So uh, you've moved to Europe. Uh, you, you're, you know, lived in America before and now you're living in Europe. What's the, the most interesting food? Maybe not your favorite, maybe not the best or anything, but the most interesting food you've had since you've moved there. Hmm. I've had reindeer pate. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, <laughs> that is definitely interesting. <laughs> in Finland, they are fans of... And uh, so I've had some canned reindeer pate from the great far north of Finland. Yeah, that's, I, I don't think so. I, I don't even like. Recommend it. No. <laughs> no. You just go ahead and skip that. <laughs> that's too funny. Um, so so from, from that, let's go to what's the best beer ever? You, you've got to be a beer enjoyer. Mm. Yeah, uh, my, my favorite beer is from my Diego, California, and that's the Stone Arrogant Bastard Ale. Oh. So 
delicious. Who's and, and sorry, you cut out a little bit there. Did you say who brews that? It's the Stone Brewery in Escondido. Oh, okay. That's awesome. That sounds really good. What, is it like a what kind of a beer is it? Well, it's an ale. It's a very hoppy. I hesitate to call it an IPA only because they don't call it an IPA. But oh, sure. if you're otherwise unfamiliar with an IPA, it's very bitter. Um, it's a dark ale. It's fantastic. Um, I suggest that you have a stone arrogant bastard ale. <laughs> I will definitely have to try that. I'll have to look around. We do have a, 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 a liquor store around here, but it's like a, I had to say to even call it a liquor store because you think it's like, like some little corner shop, you know? No, this place is like the Walmart of liquor stores. So I'll have to look around in there and see if they, see if they have that. Yeah. Maybe they can order for you if you, if you ask. Oh, definitely. I'll have to, I'll have to see about that. Um, so you uh, do a couple other things. What what other things can we? Where else can we find you? Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce your your Twitter name there, um, but <laughs> for anybody who it's, uh, uh, it's yeah, Itig Yidig, which I stole from another soft drink manufacturer. That was a Pepsi promotion way back in the day, and while I was searching for a Twitter handle, I I just I, I remembered that. And uh, it, it only occurs to me now that I'm using another software drink, uh, software, <laughs> I mean soft drink. Um, but it's, uh, if you don't know, you don't go. That's what, that's the origin of those letters. <laughs> that's too funny. I, I had no idea. I've never heard of and, that. And uh, so. I've got a, a podcast. It's at sci-fi show.net and uh, I'll participate, me and the three other idiots talk about science fiction and we tell <laughs> dick jokes and uh it's basically foul and uh embarrassing to be associated with so check it out if you like uh things that are for mature audiences <laughs> and and we talk about science fiction and uh we usually just have a good time so uh check that out sci-fi show.net Definitely. I'll have to check that out. I like sci-fi stuff, so. Um, yeah, it's, I haven't checked that. And you said, but it's it's also, you have a, a Twitter too, right? At Sci-Fi Show? Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay, you can awesome. give us a follow there. We we uh, publish out just about every episode we we publish on Twitter. Awesome. The publishing. We'll have to catch up on that. How many How many episodes in are you? Uh, we've got 91 in the can, but oh, only geez. 90 have been published. Oh, okay, yeah. That's going to take me a while. <laughs> you guys like to do a serialized <laughs> thing, or is it more of like a weekly thing? I lost you. Oh, sorry. Do you do, you do more of a serialized thing, or is it a, a weekly thing? Uh, well, we try and publish every Saturday, but, but it, taking things too seriously, so uh, sometimes we'll we'll miss a week or two. And uh, when we can get to everyone together to do the recording, then we usually do one or two. And uh, we don't really try and stay topical too much. So there, you can usually pick them up and find something relevant. Oh, awesome. I will definitely have to try that out. Well, thanks for joining me, Steve, or Serge, if I should call you that. So should I yell it? It's all in caps. Serge! See, now, <laughs> that's right. I'm not, not too before <laughs> right <laughs> too funny um you can get uh you can get more episodes of diamond dialogue at my website timbeck.com if you go there uh, timbeck.com slash dd that'll take you right to the diamond dialogue stuff there's other stuff to subscribe to youtube and our to subscribe to rss and itunes and all that fun stuff um so i hope to see you around next time and i will see you in the chat room surge all right all right all right all right, all right. <laughs> Uh, it's too funny. Put that on. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>